Dana Weiss joining us, the UFC president. And, uh, you know, I, I, I have defended you so many times on the Conor <laughs> McGregor stuff. But I will ask you this, is that you said, listen, the war was fun. It was successful. I'm moving on. Dana, that doesn't necessarily mean you're moving on forever. What happens in two years if Diaz and McGregor, it works out? Right, right. No, that's true. Um, and the reality is this. Connor, Connor has, has put the, uh, the, the 45-pound division on hold for a minute you know, to, to, uh, to do this fight. So it's not fair to the rest of the division to do, a, to do a third one of those fights right now. And at the end of the day, you have to look at what that fight really was. Now, Conor McGregor is one of these guys who steps up, uh, you know. You know how many times I've been in a position where, um, you know, somebody gets injured leading up to a big fight and, uh, uh, you know, the guy doesn't want to fight on short notice. The guy who's actually ready doesn't want to fight on short notice. Um, Conor McGregor fought a guy who was 30 pounds heavier on short notice. Um, and, and when you look at what a what a huge star and how much money that guy – brings in and, 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 and makes, it's amazing. This guy puts all his chips out on the table yes. every single time and will fight anybody, anywhere, anytime. So that fight was a last-minute replacement. Then after it was over, they wanted to do it again, so we did it. The fans wanted to see it. We did it. It's time to move on. It's time, to, it's time for him to defend his title. Do you ever worry that, um, listen, the reality is you, you, you're a little like wrestling. You've done a hell of a job creating stars and you're always going to be more popular. And that's not a criticism because baseball would die to have three of them. You've got, you know, you create about two a year. Do you ever worry though, that it creates animosity with other fighters when you get, is that one of the reasons you are reluctant to go all in on one guy? Um, well, yeah, well, you have to do what's fair too. You have to do what's fair, even though one guy is so popular and makes so much money, Ronda Rousey. But anytime you have a big star and, and, and they make big money, other people are not going to be happy about it. And when you're dealing with professional athletes, especially fighters, they all believe that they're as good as them or better than them. And they also all believe that they should make the kind of money that they're making. Not always the case, though. Yeah. How do you decide the money? Like if you're sitting down for a fight and you and the Fertitas who have done very well speaking of money recently, what 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 what's the sliding scale? What's the difference between paying a guy a million and four? Like what do you look at? You look at who 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 puts uh who puts people in seats and who sells pay per views. You know? Is that simple? It's pretty it's pretty easy easy model to figure out, you know, who delivers and, and, and the guys that you know, we always stack the card. And, and put on great cards from top to bottom, um, but it's the it's the top two. It's the, it's the main event and co-main event. If I, you know, we got into this discussion the other day, and I said I still believe if Ronda Rousey had a fight, it would be a big pay per view. And and if you said ten years ago, there's going to be this new sport UFC, and a woman will be the leading con commerce driver. If she had a fight, let's say she had a fight in a month, and you promoted it, would it do yeah. better financially than than Diaz McGregor? Yes. Wow. Yes, wow. I think that Ronda Rousey. Wow. Ronda Rousey's return will be the biggest pay per view we've ever done. Wow. Is that the yes. answer? There? That's in. Good God! If you'd have said that 15 years ago. If I'd have said if 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 I if you'd have told me 15 years ago that that women would be fighting in the UFC, and if you told me that women would be as technically sound as the men, and the fights would be loved by millions of people all over the world, and it would be the hottest thing going on in the UFC. I would have never believed it. So why isn't she fighting on the November card in New York? Is, is she reluctant? Or are you reluctant? No, Rhonda had, um, had a bunch of minor surgeries, and they're healing up, and when they are, I'm assuming she's going to fight. Because there was a psychological thing, Dana, Dana White joining us. After that fight, you know, she became, she's becoming a star. Do you worry that some of your fighters get big, and they may ditch you? No, I listen. That's 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 sports. That's that's life. You know, people people aren't going to play forever. People aren't going to fight forever. And this is one of those sports. And I'm I'm huge about this. And, and I've been saying this for years. I don't care how big you are or how much money you make or how much money you bring into the company. If you don't want to fight anymore, you shouldn't fight anymore. This isn't a this is a sport that 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 you're all in. You can't be wishy-washy. You can't be. That's why when people talk about 
you know, oh, George St. Pierre's coming back. George St. Pierre's coming back. George St. Pierre doesn't. George St. Pierre doesn't have that. I want to be a world champion attitude anymore. He doesn't have that that drive and that desire that he once had. And if you don't have that, yeah, no, you should you shouldn't fight. I saw Nate Diaz's face. You have got to want that. I mean, yeah, I, I've never, yeah. I've, I've never seen, I mean, after that fight, now there's a story out there yesterday I saw, I want an update on this, that after the fight, and, and my argument is after a fight, a guy can take whatever pill he wants to, to lower inflammation and swelling, and he looked like he had one of those little pins and there was smoke coming out of it. Is he going to get in trouble? I don't know. You know, USADA, USADA and the uh, Nevada State Athletic Commission will handle that, but, you know. That's not a, come on, uh, they got to be <laughs> loose on that. The, the, I, I listen. That, that, that's that's not my decision. You know, I, I'm so happy to be out of that business. I can't even tell you. Um, <laughs> I'm telling you, I can't even explain to you how happy I am to be out of that business. But that that's up to them. And uh, I, I I think Diaz made so much money, he really doesn't care. Yeah, he's he's a unique kid. I'll tell you what. Very. That's uh, Dana. <laughs> I, Dana, I said this the next day. I watched that pay per view fight with friends. And you and I both fell in love with boxing initially. That that is to me Duran Leonard. I was now it, it lasted probably 15 minutes shy because of the way your rounds and the timing goes. That was as good as fight as I've seen. Did you know during the fight? Did you say, "Oh my God, this oh, yeah. this"? You knew during the fight. Oh yeah, I mean everybody knew. I, I mean when you're watching that thing unfold, and obviously you don't know how it's going to go because. Diaz gets dropped. It looks like it's over. Diaz gets dropped again. Then it looks like Connor is out of gas and he has no gas left. Diaz starts to pour it on, you know. And, and and when Diaz was getting hurt, you know, he started rushing Connor and putting his weight on him. And you know, when he slapped him in the face and just, I mean, it was, it was. It doesn't get any better than that. It doesn't get any better than that. I agree with you. It's the best fight you've seen in 20 years, and you know, the, the two guys who just dig so deep, so deep to keep going, and uh, it's it's as good a fight as you'll ever see. UFC Fight Night, broadcast live. It's free on Fox, 8 o'clock Eastern. You guys are up in Rogers Arena in Vancouver with Damian Maya and Carlos Condit. Why should I watch? Why should our viewers watch? Well, first of all, uh, you know, this is one of those stylistic matches. Carlos Condit is, is the kind of guy who is completely well-rounded. He likes to finish fights. He doesn't like to go to the distance. And Damian Maya is one of those guys who still, you know, is a throwback in that he has that one thing, and he's so good at that one thing, which is Brazilian jiu-jitsu, he wins every time with it. Um, Carlos Condit has great jiu-jitsu, but has incredible nasty stand-up. He hits you with knees, elbows, punches, kicks. Um, very fun fight, and it's a stacked card. Lots of good fights on that card, and it's free! On it's Fox live, it's free. 8 Eastern up in one of my favorite cities in the world, Vancouver. That's a great city. That's a great place to hold Love UFC. Oh, God, it's great. Uh, Dana White, UFC president, thanks for 10 minutes, bud. Thanks for having me. You bet.